Hi gents. In my previous video I spoke about gold electrical melting furnaces and I promised to show you cheaper and uh, more convenient way of melting your gold. If I'm not mistaken I also promised to show you it can be done while spending no more than 20-30 bucks. Right, so this time what we're looking for is a microwave gold melting kiln. Yes, there is such a thing. But look at the prices, they're getting close to 300 bucks or so. It's clearly not what I promised. Let's try it in a bit different way and let's search for microwave glass fusing kit. And as you can see, there is such a thing. It's times cheaper. But even the cheapest ones are around 50 60 bucks. And I promised it will be less than it. The thing is, all these kind of furnaces are made in China, but for whatever reasons they do not want to sell them on eBay. Do not ask me why, I simply do not know. And uh, when you go to AliExpress, you will see them for really cheap. Uh, 28 bucks or maybe even less. Uh, here you just have to search yourself. And uh, even if you try to make such a thing uh, as do-it-yourself project, I seriously doubt you can make it any better or cheaper. Myself, I did try it, um, but I failed. Um, here it is. Okay, so this is what you have to buy. A microwave glass fusing kit. It's the only trouble, you still won't be able to melt your gold. Actually, you can, but you have to use one trick. Uh, something I will show you right now. And here's a microwave glass fusing furnace. Something I already used for about 40-50 melts. Amazingly, but it still stays in one piece. Even you can see some serious cracks and some damage on the top of furnace, uh, but mainly it was my own fault, because I used some funny melting flux and it caused quite serious damage. I just have to mention that for normal gold melting in this furnace you don't have to use any flux. So this furnace did extremely well, especially if you consider it wasn't designed for gold melting, and uh, if you use it carefully it may last for a really long time. Ok, it's time to show you the trick. The black coating is a something that generates heat. But this kind of heat, it may be enough for fusing glass, but not for melting gold. So all you need is a graphite crucible. I repeat, it has to be a graphite crucible. Graphite is a something that generates serious heat while consuming microwaves. Just get yourself any smallest and any cheapest graphite crucible, put it inside the furnace and it will do the job. How long will it take to get to melting temperature? Well, it all depends on microwave. In my particular case, it takes no more than 14 minutes, 1-4 minutes to melt gold, or about 9 minutes to melt silver. And uh, here's a piece of gold I melted using this furnace. I hope you will find it useful and thanks for watching.